Welcome back to the channel. So, I thought, well, we're continuing Universal Month, so I decided to focus on, on a topic for this as a double feature. I never do double features on here, I do one by one, but since they are two films relating to a, a the, right, that, relating to the topic, I thought we would go ahead and take a look at two movies centered around 9-11. So we have Twin Towers and Paul Greengrass's Paul Greengrass's United 93. That's kind of that's a tongue twister right there. So yeah, let's start. Let, okay, so let's start with Twin Towers. This is a documentary short subject that was made in 2003 and it focused on the story of these two brothers. I'm probably going to pronounce his last name wrong, but John uh, focus on, uh, basically, it says here on the back right here, on September 11th, retired fire captain John v Vigiano, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, senior, and his wife Jan lost two, lost both of their sons. So focus on Joseph, Joseph Vigiani, and uh, I think, and uh, his older brother, uh, John Jr., or John Vigiani Jr., that, probably getting it wrong. It's basically the life story about these two guys that were killed on 9-11. Now, for those that don't know, I was in middle school. I was in seventh grade, in middle school, seventh grade study hall when I, when I heard the announcements of the two uh, planes crashing Twin Tower. These two brothers, one a cop, one a firefighter. So basically they go in and it talks about, talks about their life story from their father, to their friends, colleagues, family members, and to focus on their focus them from their life from the early days up into adulthood, up into um, up into the tragic event of September 11, 2001. Yeah, this was a really good documentary short. It's really hard for me to review something that's super short. This was a 35 minute short. It was produced by Dick Wolf, the, the man who created Law and Order. I'm not a fan of Law and Order, Law and Order show, but those shows. But this is really, really, really well made. It's really a short documentary. It, it's super short. I thought that's it. There could have been more, but honestly, I decided. You know what? Yeah, it's it's it says here the true story of two brothers whose courage will never be forgotten, and that's true about what it is. They're gone, but not forgotten, if you want to put it that way. So yeah, really good documentary. Uh, very, very short, though. But honestly, I normally would say final verdict, but in this case, I liked it. But honestly, if you watch so many documentaries, news footage, news coverage, or know the whole story, you don't really need to see this whole thing. You can easily just go on the internet and find everything. You can watch... YouTube videos and stuff, but I'm still recommending it as a curio. Not saying that it's, it's definitely worth seeing. And yes, 9-11 was very tragic of the day in history. I'm not trying to get into politics with this, but it's, it's really good. I learn more about these two, these two men, these two brothers, than I do any other documentary to focus on, focus on this subject. Right there with Fahrenheit 9-11 in terms of documentaries. I don't say final verdict to something this short, but my final ver verdict is you'll like the next picture even better. Continuing the double feature train, this time we have a full movie. This time we're taking a, Paul Gre we're taking a look at Paul Greengrass's United 93. This one came out in 2006. Paul Greengrass is one of these filmmakers that you have to see. His Born Supremacy was actually one of the films that the Bourne movies, well, the second Bourne he directed. He might have directed, I think he directed the third one, though. Really talented director. I think he's that good. And this is another great little biopic. Not biopic, but it's sort of like an action biopicture. It focuses on, basically it focuses on the playing United 93. When I was talking about Twin Towers, I also watched this as well after I watched Twin Towers. And this is a well-made film. The movie actually... I don't think has any cast members that are familiar. Uh, although a couple of the cast members in this though, you had Christian, I can't think of his last name. He was Bill Hodgman in American Crime Stories, People vs. O.J. Simpson. 
and USF Peter Hawk is it Hawk Her Herman Hammond. He was married to uh, he's married to actress McCree Hargate from the Law and Order special uh, criminal was it criminal tent or special one one of the Law and Order stuff. But he isn't as well. He plays one of the victims. Basically, it focuses on a bunch. It focuses on these two terrorists. Beginning of the film, these two terrorists are praying in Arabic, so they're telling them it's time. So it's on the wee mornings of 9/11. This was like before the game race set set sail, not set sail, but ready go fly. Um, so basically, they aboard what they call United 93. It's just your typical normal day. It's like any other normal day in New York City. But craziness happens when one of the terrorists is armed. So they take the hostages, killing two, two uh, pilots, and they take control of the plane. So a group of thousands of these strangers, I want to say, how many people were on that though? I want to say there are like 500 people on that plane. So these strangers, their idea is they're going to try to stop these terrorists from crashing into the Trade Center. So they're like talking to the guys that are working on the, working in the, uh, can't think of it right now, uh, I, I, I'm blanking right now. But they're, they're helping these guys, so I'm going to put this down right now. So they're helping these guys out. And yeah, it's just the story of these, these strangers that are considered heroes. These guys are trying to stop the terrorists from crashing to the Trade Center. I'm sure everybody knows the story of what happened to 993. This is not an easy mood to get past. In the beginning it feels so, sort of like a drama, but later on in the film it gets intense. To the point of, I was like sitting there with my jaw dropped. I remember when this movie came out in 2006. Yeah, 2006, and really, really, really well-made film. And Paul Greengrass should get noted. He actually was nominated for Best Director in this film, and he's really, really good, and just... It's tragic what happened to those people, and their, all their lives lost. It even says here on the front front of the DVD, on September 11, one of the darkest days in, in our history. Forty ordinary people stand up at stand down as strangers and stood up as one and they all they all took the both of those guys who were trying to control the plane one of them didn't know how and yeah he was just yeah it, it, it takes balls to do what what those guys did to try to stop those terrorists from destroying them and I'm um, just spoiler for an event that happened also for a movie None of the survivors, none of the survivors made it through. Um, I want to kind of talk about the only prop positive and sort of the elephant in the room is: Do we need shaky cam in movies? Can we please stop with trying to shake the camera? I mean, shaking the camera, the shaky cam thing is starting to get really old. I'm like, just stop, okay? Just, just stop, okay? We don't need a shaky cam. We don't need the camera to shake all over and make the audience sick. But I think in this film it does sort of work. Because when you're on a plane, the plane swerves everywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to show you the disc art. I love the disc art. And this is the full screen disc. Because I have I had a widescreen copy, but my copy just doesn't work. Didn't work and it just wouldn't, I couldn't even watch it. So, I swapped it out with a full screen disc. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to say this. I just want to tell this really quick. I don't want to get into politics, though, but I'm just going to say this right now. I do believe President Bush had involvement with the 9-11 attacks. He could have done more, but he didn't. But, on the back of the DVD it says, We invite you to join Universal Pictures making a donation to the to the nine to the flight 93 national memorial memorial for more information visit this website I'm gonna leave that up right there if you guys want to donate you don't have to but if you guys want to make a pledge you can pa pause the video and you can look at this website right here 
it will tell you right here www.honorflight93.org, uh, I do believe. Yeah, .org. So that's really cool. I give, I think Universal even donated money. I think Universal, yeah, Universal Pictures or Universal Studios, however you want to say. I think Universal even donated some money to this. So that is really cool for a studio like Universal to have heart and donate that. But there's not much way special features. Although one of the special features says Twin Towers. I want to say this documentary is on the... DVD. I thought this would have been on the DVD, but if this thing is on the DVD, is this 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 short subject is on this DVD, I don't know, then I probably would get rid of this right here if it's included on here. But regardless, so I came down to this. Now that I've said everything, final verdict, should you see both of these movies? I know I review them one by one, one of one by one, but I can easily say, if you don't watch this, at least watch this. And the final verdict is: Should you see both of these, including United ninety three? And my answer is yes, 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 yes. Paul Greengrass has made a masterpiece of a tragic event that happened on September eleven two thousand one. This is a must see. If you want to learn more about 9-11, go watch this. You don't have to watch this. I'm still saying check this out, but you're better off watching this because you'll have a better watch, it's a better, better watch, and definitely something to check out if you want to. If you have the least interest in 9-11, go watch this. It's better than all the other documentaries that they put out. Even better than World Trade Center. I have watched World Trade Center, so I can't know if that's any better. But from watching United 93, this is the better picture. So, yeah, that's it. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.